Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain proportional derivative controller with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I will explain basics, output, block diagram, transfer function, physical understanding, significance, pros and cons of proportional derivative controller. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of PD controller. Here we have been given with standard closed loop control system where input is R of S and output is C of S. Here we have negative feedback system where feedback signal is F of S. Here we have adder that is generating error signal. That error signal is input signal R of S minus feedback signal F of S. So error signal E of S that is R of S minus F of S and that is given to controller. Controller is generating controlled signal and that we give it to system or plant. Here our controller is PD controller. PD means proportional derivative controller. So here we will be using PD controller that is proportional derivative controller. Now I will explain you transfer function calculation for PD controller. PD controller is a combination of proportional and derivative controller. So here we have PD controller that is the combination of proportional and derivative controller. Input to PD controller that is error signal and output is controlled signal. You can observe with standard control system here we have controller that is having input that is error signal and output is controlled signal. So here we have input that is error signal and here we have output that is controlled signal. See this output that is algebraic sum of output due to proportional controller and output due to derivative controller. So output of proportional controller is constant kp into input over here that is e of t and output of this derivative controller that is constant kd into differentiation of input with respect to time and these two signals that is getting added over here and that is our controlled output. So output m of t that is kp into e of t and here we are adding that with output due to differential controller that is kd into differentiation of e of t with respect to time. Here we have signal based on time domain. To have transfer function, we need to have output in terms of frequency domain. So let us apply Laplace transform here. If we apply Laplace transform, then this output m of t, now that will be m of s. This constant will be as it is, that is kp. This e of t, now that will be e of s. Here we have constant that is kd and single differentiation of e of t with respect to time will be s into e of s. So this is our output. Now to simplify this output, let me take e of s common. So here in bracket we will be having kp plus s kd. Now if you observe here we have in total PD controller where output is m of s, input is e of s. So if you want transfer function, then transfer function is output m of s divided by input e of s that will be constant kp plus s kd. So here if you observe with PD controller, what we do? We add one zero in the system. In numerator, we have s term. What it means? Here we are adding one zero in the system with the use of PD controller, right? And that is happening because of derivative controller. Now I will explain physical understanding of PD controller. In proportional derivative controller, our input signal is error signal. So here we have proportional derivative controller in which input signal is error signal and output signal is controlled signal that is algebraic sum of output of proportional controller and derivative controller. So here in physical understanding, I will give 
input signal to this PD controller and this input signal is error signal. So let me note it down that is E of T over here. Now let me explain output with proportional controller. See output of proportional controller that is simply input signal into constant. So here if I say my constant is KP then here proportional controller output that will be KP into input that is E of T. If I say this KP that is 1.2 then here you can observe input signal trajectory. So with proportional controller shape of signal will remain same only constant is getting multiplied with E of T. So signal will be appearing somewhat like this. Here you can observe shape of signal that is as it is only constant is multiplied with input signal E of T. If you observe derivative controller output then here we have constant KD right and derivative controller output is KD into differentiation of input with respect to time. Now what is the meaning of differentiation of input with respect to time? See differentiation means slope of signal. So here we have input signal right. So with this input signal if you talk about slope then at this instant tangent to curve that is slope. So here it is horizontal means slope is zero. If you talk about this point then here slope is negative you can observe. At this instant also slope is negative. Over here also slope is negative. Here slope is horizontal means it is zero. Over here slope is positive right. Now if you want to plot output then simply we need to see slope. So here slope is zero means output is zero. Now as time progresses slope is getting negative. So here we have negative slope you can observe right. Now as you approaches over here at this instant slope is getting zero. So your output that will also stays zero at this instant and over here we have positive slope. So here we will be having positive output right. So derivative controller that is having output based on rate of change of input that is slope of signal right. So algebraic sum of this which is derivative controls output and proportional controller output that will be the output of PD controller right. Now I will explain you physical significance of PD controller. PD controller is a combination of proportional and derivative controller. Hence it is having advantages of proportional and derivative controller. PD controller is having error reduction and that is happening due to proportional controller. PD controller can take anticipatory action and that is possible due to derivative controller. One should know due to derivative controller we have output that is differentiation of input with respect to time. So here we can predict rate of change of signal with respect to time. So based on rate we can take anticipatory action in PD controller right. Here we will be having improvement in dynamic response. Here we can have lower settling time and higher stability margin. See stability is improving with PD controller. Why the reason is here we are adding derivative controller. By derivative controller we are adding zero in the system. We are multiplying s in transfer function means we are adding zero because of which we have higher stability margin in PD controller. With PD controller we have faster transient response. Here we will be having reduced overshoot and oscillations and we have improved stability due to derivative controller. So these are the essential points that one should note down regarding PD controller. Now I'll explain you lock diagram and transfer function calculation for PD controller with second order system. Here we have been given with standard second order system with PD controller. So you can observe here our controller is PD controller. P means proportional that is having value KP. D means derivative that is having value S into KD. So this is PD controller and here we have standard second order system that is having transfer function omega n square divided by S into S plus 2 zeta omega n. Here we have 
unity negative feedback and for unity negative feedback transfer function is gs divided by 1 plus gs hs here we have unity negative feedback means h of s is equals to 1 and here we have g of s that is multiplication of these two block why the reason is these two blocks are there in series now i will substitute these two data in this transfer function now i will take lcm of s into s plus 2 zeta omega n so i will multiply this with 1 so that we can have cancellation of s into s plus 2 zeta omega n from numerator and denominator now with this transfer function i will simplify this denominator polynomial here we have s into s that is s square that is highest order now if you observe here we have s into 2 zeta omega n so i am writing s into 2 zeta omega n and here we have s into kd into omega n square so plus kd into omega n square and then we have constant that is kp into omega n square so this is the transfer function for pd controller right in this transfer function if you observe we have second order system and one additional zero that is added because of this additional zero we have improved stability and here we have second order system right now let me discuss about advantages and disadvantages of pd controller so here with pd controller we will be having improved stability we will be having faster transient response that is possible because of proportional controller here we will be having reduced overshoot and oscillations and here we will be having lower settling time and lower settling time that is there due to derivative controller if you talk about disadvantages then with pd controller we cannot eliminate offset or one can say steady state error this PD controller that is sensitive to noise and with PD controller we need careful tuning or one can say with PD controller tuning is difficult. So this is all about PD controller. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still if any confusion is there just post that in comment section I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.